Ventilators are complex and expensive machines that are badly needed to treat COVID-19, especially in developing countries like South Africa. While South Africa is the most developed nation on the continent, it is also the worst hit by the virus and needs thousands more ventilators. To address the shortage, South African doctors and engineers are teaming up to create inexpensive emergency ventilators that are portable and easy to use. What we set out to do was originally to have something that is affordable, that is indestructible, and that's obviously uh, pretty cheap. And uh, that's when we set out to actually start with the design on the O2 box. Developed by Dr. Jano de Beer, the O2 box costs about 220 US dollars compared to tens of thousands of dollars for a standard ventilator and can run on solar power, dual voltage or even off a car battery. But the inventors note the O2 box is not meant to replace a standard ventilator, just to act as an emergency device or last resort. Using that with the fact that it's quite inexpensive, um, allowing a person that might otherwise not be able to get a ventilator, that because of reasons of uh, not uh, fitting the protocol of age, uh, of uh, disease progress, of uh, prognosis, uh, having that person have a fighting chance with a, a ventilator that is inexpensive. A team from the University of Johannesburg is also working on their own inexpensive ventilator that is open source design. So. In, in that sense, or from that philosophy, the, the purpose of the university is then almost to form sort of a think tank or a, an idea innovation hub where we can develop these technologies and send them out into the world where, where people can hopefully use them. While still at the prototype stage, the beer and heel expect to produce up to 3,000 O2 boxes per week. By the end of May, the emergency ventilators can't come soon enough. South Africa medical experts say the nation peak in COVID-19 infection could come as early as July or as late as September. Franco Puglisi for VOA News, Johannesburg.